Well, I'll go ahead and thank everybody for, of course, you know, tuning in to BTS Smash for Prime Saga. Of course, we also have the 2G Gaming channel. They have amazing sets as well. But you know what? Y'all are the real MVP. Yeah. This is 2 gg Z Flow. We got Edmund on the mic as well. We want to thank you all for tuning in and just making Prime Saga as hype as possible. And, of course, we got the amazing hype. Hype fly, Z fly, oh, Z hype. Right. Z hype, let's go. And of so, course, Edmund, you know, no slaps on the mic as well. And I just want to see, you know, who is who is his opponent? Who's 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 freaking out right now? Yeah. The Buzz versus Legit. Legit, yeah. ooh. Legit, uh, another player from NorCal. Is there no day two upset threat? Who's in charge of this? Who's in charge of Reddit? <laughs> well, Regardless, we have DeBuzz <laughs> versus Legit. And, you know, this is the newly uh, Team Liquid DeBuzz, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Liquid picking up DeBuzz. After all, he totally deserves that that oh. caliber of sponsorship, man. He's been such a threat uh, throughout Smash games, especially even in Smash 4. It took him took him a while, but he's finally here, and he got he got what what was coming for him a, That's lo right. a long time. Yeah. That's right. Of course, you know DeBuzz being like such a studied player, you know he's constantly studying his opponents. Oh yeah, he man, he's got that a laptop. whole laptop full <laughs> of data. And you know, I just want to see like how many gigs he actually takes up with data of its like you know previous replays, uh, replays of his opponents, opponents' habits, uh, ledge habits, uh, just like um. Uh, scramble habits, you know, those are like really important to note, uh, especially going into to like a big tournament like Prime Saga. Yeah, well, I can't find the upset threat for day. Oh wait, oh that's Hyrule Saga. Well, that was a long time ago, buddy. That's fine. You know, we'll yeah, figure, we'll it, out figure it out later. Right now we yeah, got right the now. legit and the buzz. Let's get it, man. I'm sure you guys can hear that crowd. They are popping off for Vegas right now, so I'm gonna assume it's uh, Ven potentially. Oh, Ven's been performing so well. Amazing. I, I would be. Who won? I wouldn't be surprised if it was Ven. Actually, I think it may have, may have been someone else. Could it be Z? I'm trying to see. I don't know. Whatever. Regardless, we have Liquid and Legit. So, uh, what are you expecting to see between these two players? Liquid and Legit. I know Legit. He actually still plays Diddy Kong. I, I believe he also plays Inkling in this game. Yeah, so I we believe could he plays Inkling. Inkling. Um, the Buzz, he's been picking up Greninja recently, from what I understand. So that's a character he's been looking into. Obviously, he's got the Olimar on deck. Uh, he does play a bit of Palutena as well. Uh, so we could see a number of characters. I I'm expecting the Diddy, the Diddy Kong um, and the Olimar. There it is. Yeah, well, no shocker picks. Starting uh, with their strongest characters. I mean, especially after how... Greninja was playing with Stroder's yeah. set versus the Sam. It's, I'm expecting to see a lot more Greninjas being played. But here I'm we are, the you, patented that's my new button main. check <laughs> from the Buzz that's and legit. Yeah, Diddy Kong, interesting that like there is any players at all who are still rocking them with him, right? Because the uh, character's been very heavily toned down from the last iteration of Smash. Right. Uh, you know, he was definitely a top tier in that game, especially at the beginning of that game. Like, he was overpowered. I mean, we could say that because he definitely got a couple nerfs here and there. Uh, but the biggest nerfs of all come being from that game to th this game. Uh, he did get some pretty like, good buffs as well. Like, he's able to um, actually control barrels. It used to be a meme, but when, right, right, when they're right. detached from Diddy Kong now, he's actually able to influence the direction of them. Uh, recovery has been shortened a bit, so that, that's a bit of a... Uh, unfortunate case for Diddy Kong. Um, and he just doesn't move quite as, as smooth. But let's see what Legit can do with the character because I, I haven't seen too many Diddy Kong play. Uh, I want to see what a good Diddy Kong can do. I'm sh I'm sure the character is still good. He is just not the monster that he used but to be. But you said Legit has an inkling. Why he wouldn't you just opt to go direct to your Man, inkling? I don't know. He's, an, he's, a, he's a Diddy, he's a he's Diddy got, fanatic. But Legit, you know, okay, Legit. Uh, Inkling has like some of the same tools that Diddy had, yeah. not only in this game oh, but oh. in Smash 4 as well. I mean, that, and that's what I'm saying. It's it's rare to see Diddy mains from Smash 4 actually still hanging on to the Diddy because most of them transition to the Inkling. Like Inkling yep. was a character that like I know when this game came out, I was a Diddy player in he Smash 4. He has up throw up there. I, I, I went to I went to Inkling. I'm like, oh, I feel at home right here. <laughs> this well, is me, and then I dropped them because I, I was guess like, I don't care. legit not ready to make the move. You know, he still got. A little bit longer lease on Diddy Kong before he, yeah. you know, moves up into a uh, into the Inkling territory. 
But Olimar from the buzz, you know, he's been playing Olimar for about as long as Olimar has been around. Yes. Yeah, I mean, since Brawl, where that character was equally, like, a, a threat terrifying. as well. But now... The I, word is terrifying. Is he better now? <laughs> would you say better now or better then? You know what? I definitely want to say he's better Possibly. now. The whistle uh, was definitely better, and that was, like, an amazing yeah. tool for Olimar back in the day. But now it's just the, the fact that Olimar can can zone if he wants to or just straight decimate someone uh, if he gets in their face. If he wants. And we're seeing a little bit of that aggression early on in this first stock, but legit going to answer right back. That's right, down throw into forward air. Gonna be easy damage for Olimar. And DeBuzz slowly putting on damage and extending his lead. Ooh, gets the white Pikmin and oh, legit man. having a little yeah. bit of trouble getting him off. Yeah, it can be really tricky sometimes. Depending on where the Pikmin latches onto you, you need to have a hitbox that actually uh, connects. So if you don't have like a really like all-reaching hitbox, it's it's gonna be tough to shake him off. That's right, and you see the purple Pikmin just uh, making sure that Olimar has the correct uh, necessary space to recover back to the ledge. Yeah. Something we didn't talk about either is like how, how bad this matchup was for uh, for Olimar in, in previous Smash. Now now it looks like it may just be the complete opposite. That's right. 128 here, oh, and the up air going to connect. The buzz, taking that first stock, only 43%. That's right. Oh, what you a see lineup. Banana coming out, but you know what? With as, as much of a veteran as the buzz is, he knows how to utilize Banana in his favor as well. Okay. okay. Unfortunate for DeBuzz there, gonna lose the blue and the purple, pulling out a purple and red now. He does have the white online, latches it on again. While wow, running up, getting the up smash, even nullifying the banana throw from legit. Ooh, rip that red Pikmin. Oh, beautiful, man. He caught the air dodge in, punishing with the neutral air. Wow, so you, DeBuzz was so smart right there. He used the yellow Pikmin to stop the banana throw, and then used another Pikmin to just erase the banana. Completely nullifying it. I mean, that banana is just like not even a threat. Yo, okay. Getting the banana trip into the up smash. And another up air right here may do the trick for the buzz, and he's going to put himself in a really good position just to take this game number one. And again, starting to slip away from legit even. 117, but down a stock. And speaking of slipping, you know, legit's been slipping on his own bananas quite a bit. Oh. But we see that down tilt into up smash. Still a good it confirm. It still works, bro. It's crazy. crazy. How bad can it be? How bad can he be? Well, let's see if he still has his other confirms. That's really what's going to come out. Having yeah, one he, is, is, is good, yeah, but had, having more is better. He had, he had, like, dumb confirms. He had mad confirms before. That's right. But the buzz able to confirm that down that down air onto legit. Ooh, forward yeah, air into yeah, F smash? Nice. What was that? Yeah, that was definitely a mix-up if I've seen one. That. Okay, latching the blue Pikmin on. Yeah, Ooh, oh, a couple oh, of Pikmin, oh. but the wake-up attack going to make yeah, quick work of them. Just completely eating them up. Once again, man, legit down on his last stock here. Oh, with the buzz sitting in shield, waiting for the approach from legit. Very smart. You I mean he's in no position to need to approach? He has banana in hand. He has two purple and a yellow. He's good. <laughs> oh yeah, and he's got legit already at 99 percent. A purple uh, aerial right here may do him in, especially a back air. Ooh, you know what's he's very... looking for it. There it is, catching the roll in and taking that with a strong two stock. If we're gonna have a character switch, it should definitely happen now. Yeah. Because I saw Banana into Buzz's control more time yes. on the screen than Legit's. Yeah. And it's Legit's Banana! He was making it work, man. That's, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's looking rough. I, I, I would like Bring to see the, the inkling. inkling. Yeah. Let's see the inkling. I know, I know that Banana, uh, Diddy's your boy. You still got a little bit of extended lease on him. So, you know, you rented him for a little bit longer. <laughs> but uh, it's time to bring out Inkling. I didn't want to see, or at least if you're going to commit to continuing to play uh, Diddy, I want to see Bananaless Diddy. Bananaless Diddy, man. Because he was, and, and that's, what, what does that say when your opponent point. uses it better? You, uh, you probably should use it less. And, <laughs> and not only that, but like a lot of the time, like the the biggest change on Banana from that, that game to this, from Smash 4 to this game, I mean, you can use it twice, right? You can, once it hits, it actually doesn't disappear until the second time it gets hit. Right. That's a... Buff, kind of, but the pluck itself, Diddy pulling the banana leaves him in a considerable amount of lag. So that's right. That's very punishable, in fact. Okay, well, we see another banana coming out from legit. Okay, that's a great position to use uh, the banana because if he does throw it, it, there's no way that it's going to go back in to Buzz's control. So it's very smart from legit. Well, let's see, uh, we see DeBuzz opting to play um, a defensive style here at game two. 
I think it's so interesting that the, the Pikmin will stop the items from being yeah. thrown at you. Yeah, just completely as a priority over the banana at the very least, able to just go right through. Uh, just another like piece of evidence in the direction that like Olimar actually just probably <laughs> flat out wins this matchup. Can't count out uh, legit just quite yet. He's still continuing to pluck these bananas. That's he right. wants to make use of his tool as best as he, best as he can, and I don't blame him. After all, you have an arsenal, you may as well use all of it. That's true. We see a dash attack into up air, and DeBuzz finds himself in a position where he has to recover, but S-Smash catching a Pikmin is going to leave him susceptible to a punish. Okay, the grab, the up throw. I mean, Kalos, biggest blast zones out of any stage. Still, that up throw, super powerful, is going to be able to connect for the kill. That's right. Now, Banana back in hand and legit. So we see Banana connecting onto the buzz, but not able to follow up with the ledge. Down tilt into S Smash, going to whiff, and the up smash from the buzz actually catching legit. Oh, he tried to get the approach and the the dash after the down tilt. Okay, down tilt to up smash, and then you can see, I mean, the counter pick working out against uh, legit here. I'd be interested to know what his reasoning was to go here. Well, maybe just trying to live a little bit longer, yeah. but the buzz able to stall out, trying to get. Oh, that's a pretty cool yeah, uh, nice setup. setup. All right, forward smash. He's gonna die off the side. I'm wondering if he tried to monkey flip back towards the stage and actually shifted his hurt box into into the blast zone. Kind of looked looked like that. Regardless, we see the buzz train running again, and now it's getting another back throw, trying to get the extensions off these platforms. But it's back to buzz, uh, just continuing to take control of the banana. Okay, up air right here. Legit, yet to find an answer to DeBuzz's first stock, and oh, oh DeBuzz not letting up the aggression at all. That's right, we see a couple of down tilts coming out from Legit, but gonna get interrupted, not able to follow up, but we see Banana into pivot up tilt, up very tilt. smart Let's from Legit. Go. But 122% on your last stock. Uh, the buzz was still two in play. Ooh, good damage coming out from Legit. Oh. Even dropping down, trying to race DeBuzz's second stock with a down air. You can see just how good uh, Legit is with his recovery as well, using utilizing the wall jump to get back. Okay, that's gonna be enough to kill. Two stock for the buzz and a 2-0 advantage right here. One game away from advancing the to top 32. And I was saying, Legit actually using the double jump, so that, that actually reminded me, excuse me, the wall cling. Uh -huh. um, why he may have opted to go to this stage. The, the up special, Diddy Kong's barrels just do not go as far as they used to. It's You have to charge for so incredibly long to get the distance that you need to recover from really, really like down below in the depth. So the fact that he has the wall on Kalos to you know use a wall cling, uh -huh. jump back up, and then use the barrels to recovery is going to be to his benefit. Nonetheless, the buzz still in the advantage right here. That's right, up 2-0, and now it's the time. You can see Legit really thinking about, does he play inkling? Does he switch to one of his alts, or does he continue to play Diddy Kong? Diddy Kong, He's thinking, while it may be well, like what? his most like tried and true character, does, was not exactly looking too promising in this set. But he's gonna rock it. He's gonna, you know, if you have a main, you definitely gotta stick to him. Gotta rock with it, man. Gotta We're have some go. faith. Gotta have some faith. We're gonna rock it right on over to Smashville. The buzz opening up with a quick grab, already 42%, man. That's right. Dropping down with an air from the ledge. Legit able to make it back on stage, putting some early damage onto the buzz. Oh, the monkey flip, and even using the ledge cancel too. Very smart. Okay, up tilt into up smash. Neat little combo right there. Just quick damage, safe and easy for Legit. Mm -hmm. Keeping it close so far. Okay, and oh. dropping with these full hop back airs. Uh, not exactly connecting onto the buzz as he continues to just run through. Uh, run through legit. You know what I just noticed? What? So something similar to what we saw uh, with the set versus ally earlier in Myron, right? He can pick up the grenades. The Pikmin can pick up the grenades on the way, way back. Oh, Similarly, they, the they can pick up the banana on their way back as well. So just give the banana right back to Olimar <laughs> for free. Why not? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> like, yo, General, I have this banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Captain. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, quick up smash Yo, from Olimar. The DeBuzz. behind hitbox, dog. That's not even fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the buzz. I mean, it's not. It was up smash. <laughs> the buzz, of course, you know, taking his lead here in game three, and okay, up smash, nice. and we see legit still fighting for his tournament life. 
Yeah, definitely keeping this much more competitive in game number three. He needs to. Okay, forward air. We see DeBuzz playing a very comfortable off the side of the stage, especially at the ledge, but now rolling, trying to create some space between him and Legit. Down throw into forward air. Ooh, you even getting the fire property of the, the red Pikmin. Yeah, I can adding on a little bit of extra damage there. Okay, monkey flipping through the buzz. Now opting to go onto the platform, trying to set There's up the push. They're pulling yep. it in. Oh, it actually tripped up oh, the buzz that time. Oh, well, he must have not just gotten in control of it just yet. Okay, we see the buzz playing the defensive um, side B heavy game, uh, projectile heavy game from Olimar. And legit, still keeping this even. He's got to grab on the normal stand up. Sending the buzz back off stage, of course. Olimar having superior recovery is going to make it back. Oh, I'm surprised he was able to shield after that F smash. Very good stuff from Legit, oh. but up air poking no. through, and now DeBuzz answering right back. Oh, the trade! Yo, okay, up smash in his face, why not? Here's another one. Yeah, and that's a white Pikmin on Legit, so that was a good amount of damage the entire time he was in hit stun. All right, Ooh. banana trip. Oh, was that a banana Yo. to interrupt? Oh, yes, it was, and you could see just the fault of Diddy's new recovery in this game. He did not have the enough vertical distance to make it back. But answering right back, legit, keeping it, keeping these percents and stocks real yeah, close. Just like the first two. It's definitely down to the wire. I want to see at least one more game from legit here. Yeah, I mean, if he's if he's committed to using his Diddy, yeah. let's see why. I want to see what he has in store. He's been in, making great adjustments for me. Keeping in DeBuzz's face, really evading the projectile heavy game that DeBuzz has been using. And then being in shield whenever he does get close and he's expecting like the us matches to come out. Okay, there's a grab, just gonna toss him back. 93% already onto legit. And uh, DeBuzz still on a healthy life. That's right, but getting a dash attack into up air, putting a little bit of damage onto DeBuzz. Even using the back air to just stuff out the approach from DeBuzz. Oh no, gotta get that white Pikmin off. Yeah, it almost seems like uh, Legit's not really caring too much about the damage he's taking. He'd rather just focus on the neutral, I mean, but it wasn't enough. That makes a lot of sense. If you're already at kill percent, what's a little bit more damage exactly, you're going to do? Exactly. Nonetheless, the buzz taking that cleanly with the 3-0 victory. Yeah, I mean, I really would have liked to have seen Legit's inkling, but he has his reason for sticking it out with Diddy. And I respect I that. I respect it entirely. I mean, after all, he you saw the adjustments that were being made game after game, and game number three was the closest of them all. Yep. He definitely had it within his realm of possibility to take that victory. Unfortunately, not enough juice this time around. He's okay. still got the winner, uh, loser's bracket to go, though. DeBuzz is going to advance to top 32. And, uh, but you know what, Edmund? Yes. I think our time think is so. up. I think so. We've had amazing God sets like. here at the God BTS like. yeah, Smash that was a lot of fun. Twitch channel. And wow, I could not, I can't even believe like some of the sets that we had to commentate. Yeah, today. I'm super, super happy. And you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you've been enjoying the commentary, be sure to give us a follow if you'd like. That's this right. This has been Edmund and Z Fly. To, at 2GG underscore Z Fly, and of course. At Edman Urias. It should be up on the screen. And if, you know, if you have constructive feedback, you know, we're always looking for that. If you think I was trash, my DMs are open. You can hit me up. My but DMs are also <laughs> open. Please but don't tell that's going to be no, uh, okay. it for us. Uh, I'm going to be, I might be on the stream a little bit later on. Okay. Are, you, are you done for the day? I think I am done for the day. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grind the rest of the day. I'm upset about my tournament performance. So, right. well, good stuff. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. Prime Saga 2019. We're here live, locked and loaded. Twitch.tv, BTS Smash. It is the legendary Senpai <laughs> on the mic with Rod the Dutch. We got a treat for you guys here, man. We got um, Mr. E getting ready to face off against Cookie Slayer. Oh, yeah, very exciting. I, and if I'm not mistaken, this Cookie Slayer used to be known as Zan. Oh, wait, is that Zan? Yeah, I think so. But now he's Cookie Slayer. Don't, don't oh. put some respect on my man's my Cookie bad. Slayer. My bad. My bad. You're right. Yeah, come on. You're right. And he going Young Link instead of, I think he was Toon Link before. Okay. So we going with the Young Link. Wow, no no loyalty, no loyalty. <laughs> no, I'm I mean, kidding, I'm well, kidding. It's kind of the same No, character. no, like, you're right, you're right, you're let right. Let me not say that before the whole uh, Link Discord you better, up. <laughs> right, you better watch out. The, the, the specific differences are, like, okay, no, y'all right, y'all right. I'm right, sorry, right. I'm new, sorry. New tag, new year, new me, new game. <laughs> all right, man, we switching it all up, man. But one thing's for sure, though, we know how Young Link plays. We certainly know how Lucina plays. Let's go ahead and get right into this game. Number one, man. We're going to Battlefield 2. Very interesting choice here for both these two gentlemen. Um, there are some very cool things, some very cool platform extensions here that Young Link can do. Oh, yeah. And we saw Tweak, man, utilizing that like crazy with Young Link yesterday. Yeah. And if uh, Zan can emulate some of that, it's going to be a wrap. Oh, yeah. All right, starting this match off pretty good, though, man. Playing yeah. the keep away game. And obviously, with that keep away uh, game, though, he has a pretty strong up close and personal game that kind of parallels that. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the glaring difference between, like, Young Link and some of the other iterations. Right, that's for sure. But if you saw quickly, Lucina was able to bring that right back. He was at 0% or, or only 0% on Cookie Slayer, but now looking a lot better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this arrow confirms. And you saw that yesterday, Tweak hit like three arrows in a row into an up B. Like, don't let that happen to you, Mr. E. Man, listen, do not end up on the receiving end of a Sir Toasty gift, all right? <laughs> yeah, you all don't right. want Pr protect that, Protect yourself. <laughs> but protect you get some yourself. clout, but it's bad clout. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, nice down here, landing right there to cover himself. And now he has all the stage control. Okay, okay good roll on. Yeah. Not too bad here. Nice play. And it really saved him how he decides to recover. He knows the dangers of being off stage versus Lucina. Yes, Young Link, uh, you know, obviously can drift pretty far all the way back to the stage. He has Tether, too, unlike Big Link. But the fact of the matter is that uh, Lucina is just still a terror out there nonetheless. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Especially when she's holding that stage control. And right in the middle, you see her hit that Nair and just mm. knock him out. That's right. 138, though. It's not too hard for uh, Link to just, you know, get an up air or something like that and close this out. That's right. As you said, Ooh. there it is. Spoken it, into existence, but still not quite enough. Yeah. Now, I guess you got to be up a little bit higher than that. Okay. That's the move you want to go for. Yes. Low committal and powerful. That's right. He got Look, little legs. How does it do that? Man? I don't even. Like, <laughs> Young Link is so weird. Like, Nair is a combo uh, extender at low percents, and it can finish combos. It can it kill. It breaks can do combos. All, like, everything, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like all the best parts of, like, Nair and none of the the bad parts. Oh, Ooh, my. Oh, yeah, that combo right there. He extended that off of a drag down Nair. Yeah, and see the immediate tether back to the stage. And good stuff there. Using the up special to give himself some coverage back off the ledge of the stage. Yeah, and Lucina almost hitting him with that landing, going into the up smash. But good on Young Link to tech it. Oh. In a scary spot. Oh, the ball moving him out of the way of that back air. Potentially could have been stuck. Oh, and I'm really loving how well he covers neutral get up. He knows that Cookie Slayer is never going to, or excuse me, Mr. E is never going to roll off the ledge. So he'll right. either use up special or use he'll use dare to just keep him off stage. Yeah, and he's timing that up special perfectly, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that you have to do it too hard when it has that much lingering hitbox. If you're going to stand, you definitely get hit by uh, that. Yeah, like, you don't really have to do anything too hard. No, <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, shoot. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm the kidding. The link Discord's going to get us, man. <laughs> no, yeah, we're, we're dead meat, man. All right, but so is Cookie Slayer right there going to get hit by that back air and knocked off the left side. Right. Now suddenly Mr. E in the lead, looking like he was going down just a little bit, but nah. Yeah, man, definitely uh, definitely sticking to his guns here, and I, I'm really appreciative of it. You know, he started out this match kind of aggressive, which, you know, is, is something that could kind of help him out here in the, in the Young Link matchup. Right. Don't allow Young Link to try to control the pacing of the match. Just because he has a good projectile game, Woo. just because he has a good up-close game, doesn't mean that you can't sp outspace this character. Right. And he may have lost his stock right there, but already 70% on Young Link is going to be okay. And you saw he actually mixed up his get-up option the last time he was on the ledge. Did a get-up attack instead of just a stand. Mm -hmm. Very right. smart. Nice. Okay, catches an air with the up tilt. Not a good position here. Woo. Knocking on Death's door. Okay, he's going to have to start using more of his projectiles as he gets back to the stage, too. Yeah, maybe try to set something up, but Mr. E staying real close in his face, not allowing him to put that little, you know, stage control that he wants with his arrows, bomb, everything. Oh, oh. that was good. And, like, okay, so we talked about it. We talked about how good Nair can be uh, for Young Link, especially at some of those low percents or hell, even high percents, too, like things like short hop Nair right into mm -hmm. the tether. I really appreciate that option, but because he was at such high percent, he ran the risk of getting hit with up special. Still a very, very good move. Yeah, he swings that so fast. I remember in the last game, you used to have to set your uh, L to jump so that you could immediately do it out of shield. Yeah. But it looks like Mr. E, he's making it happen just as fast without it. That's right. Uh, okay, Mr. E, I see you, I see you. Gonna take over game one, and now I think, what did they just choose? 
I don't know. That was too quick. Yeah. <laughs> that was like frame one. I blinked and they were already off the screen. And you lose and you know where you want to go immediately. What do you ban? Right, Come on. Right. Move Run it, it back. Run it back. Like before you even hit the blast zone. What do you ban? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, man. Here we go. Game two. All right, man. Starting out game number two. Um, the old fashioned way, man. We're going to town and uh, city here for the most part. So. With this in mind, obviously we still have a lot of room to work with, but the great thing about this is that we don't have platforms throughout the majority of this match. So right. obviously right now where we have these platforms, things are going to be a little tricky right now for Mr. E, but when these platforms disappear, the young Link, he could be in for a world of hurt. Oh yeah, we're all right, going right over to FP as soon as those dip out. And it looks like uh, Cookie Slayer, like you said, he's taking over with these platforms being in the way. Oh, don't touch me. <laughs> okay, good stuff, man. Gets the dare right up front. That's a pretty hard move to time, man. I, I don't care if, like, you're mid-level, high-level, top-level, Marf slash Lucina. There's a difficult move, man, to implement. Right. All right, he has all the stage control right now. Hitting him with that nair, knocking him right back off. And there's that stand again. But okay, get up attack. Got to mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, another nair. Good stuff. Oh, and then, okay, and he does try to mix it up that time. Goes for the get-up attack, but still gets punished. Look at the ledge control here. All right, my wow. Man. Trying to get back on here. He wanted to go aggressive. Oh, the forward smash a little bit too much, but no punish for it. He's lucky here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Set up City, man. It was a sting <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that looked really good, man. He was able to take the first stock. Now Mr. E trying to hold on to the stage control and see what he can do. Edge guard opportunity, but some of them got reversed, but he still got the hit off stage. That's right. We'll take those, I guess. Okay. Oh, delayed dancing play Ooh. some art stuff. That was a really awkward position because uh, you can tell Cookie Slayer really, really wanted to drop shield and punish, but sometimes right. you just have to respect Dancing Blade. <laughs> you got to respect forward smash too, Mr. You e. absolutely do. That's right. Putting another stock up on the board here, not allowing the bleeding to go on for too much longer. Ooh. Yeah, incredibly Ooh. important, man. We're going to get these up tilts into no extension, but hey, he's not done. Still his turn somehow. And I love how slow he implements that side beat and make sure that he's able to get all the hits of Dancing Blade. Even if he can't get the first few, he's going to get the last couple. Wait a Ooh. minute. Okay, that was smart. You got to go deep on the... Uh, on Young Link and, uh, and Big Link sometimes. Right, I mean, you get so few opportunities to punish this character, man. You gotta take it where you get it. That's right. Oh, okay, bit of a trade right there. Using the dare to give himself some coverage. Dare, really good move of Young Link. But that back here, just as good, if not better, in certain cases here yeah, by Mr. E. too good, man. All right, we're coming back in. He's trying to get a combo started up, but Mr. E, so smart to float away from Young Link and not allow him to extend those combos. That's right. And, it, and, you know, Mr. E, you could tell uh, there's a couple of changes too where he might feel like a little uncomfortable. Obviously, a lot of uh, Lucina's really good moves come out of her short hop animation, but the right. fact that, you know, Cookie Slayer is not allowing him to do that for free is what's Ooh. put him in an awkward spot. Speaking of awkward spots right there, I mean, the setup at the ledge once more, man. A complete turnaround from the ledge game than what we've seen in the last game. Yeah, and, but you're not wrong, though, about how Mr. E is constantly standing at ledge, and he, all he did was have to set up a bomb right there mm -hmm. and then wait for it to explode. Bam, mm -hmm. there. That's right. He's got to mix that up, man. Maybe a few more jumps, maybe even a roll. That's right, something, man. Sometimes less is more. Oh, oh damn. Ooh. Hold up. More could be more, too. All this extension bam. and the arrow almost into the up air would have been the end of the game. I would have had to walk home at, after that combo. <laughs> I would have been out. Okay. All right, trapped on this platform here. Looking so scary with that sword in your face. He's coming out deep. Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. Mr. E goes up another game. That's so good. Man, I forgot that that could even happen. So I was so caught up in the fact that he was trying to go low to punish Young Link's yes. tether because he can swing from really far from underneath. Right. But I forgot that, you know what? Sometimes something as simplistic as a counter off stage can get rid of Young Link. Yeah, and the timing on that's so beautiful. You see a lot of Peach and Daisy go for that because they can just float and wait. When you come in, I'm right here waiting. Let's get but it. he has to perfectly time that, and he did it uh, just excellent. Great job, Mr. E, to go up 2-0 in this set. Yes. These games are incredibly close, though. This is, like, not impossible for Cookie Slayer to make a reverse 3-0. Yes. You know, and... I get it. Like, you know, when I look at characters like Toon Link, you know, characters who don't mind spending a lot of time off stage only because, you know, they have the bomb and things like that at their disposal. Um, it, it doesn't really seem like, you know, Cookie Slayer is keeping that same mindset when it comes to Young Link for the most part. You know, he's getting off stage and he's like using Tether immediately because yeah. he knows, like, we kind of like how we talked about in game number one, even though we didn't see it, that off stage pressure from Mr. E is certainly in the back of his head. So let's see what adjustments we get right here for game at number two. Boomerang right into the forward air. Some tried and true simplistic stuff here coming out from Cookie Slayer. Right. You see that boomerang actually helping him a lot. It covered him earlier on, knocked him right off of him when he was starting up a combo. And now getting this extension here, holding him oh, on the stage. Oh, oh. That's what we're talking about. Arrow into up B. You cannot escape that, man. Do not get hit by the flaming arrow. Oh, my God. That was gross. But you know what, though? He definitely needs to start out this match with some stronger momentum. You know, these last games have been really good, and I can certainly look at the adaptation for what it is from Cookie Slayer, but it's all about those final Whoa. moments. And right here, man, he is cooking. Yeah, as soon as he hits one boomerang, you see him extend it to 30-plus percent. I mean, come on, man. Let the boy get on the stage. Uh, he stood and then rolled, so that's kind of a mix-up. That's right. <laughs>
Slowly but surely, starting to learn. Yeah. Oh, oh Perry Cruz. Unfortunate man. <laughs> oh my God, the up tilt. Just gonna end it like that. All you right. see, Cookie Slayer like works so hard for his stocks, and then he's just like, oh, up tilt. And they just gets obl obliterated. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, well, and that's why I really like up tilt from uh from Lucina at low percents and at high percents. I know in the middle of the last game we seen him kind of. I think he caught Cookie Slayer out of a jump, and he was able to change the back part of up tilt a couple times in a row. So it has a lot of great usage. Uh -huh. But right now, I mean, he's going to need more than the up tilt to bring himself back from this Cookie Slayer right now. In complete control here for the most part. But as we've seen though, one or two solid conversions from Lucina, and that's also going to be uh, needed to to try to even it up. Right, and you saw that up smash on the platform right there. Most likely meant to fall through the platform and hit an up air. But lucky for him, he didn't take too big of a punish for it. Oh, Lucina actually jumped from ledge, oh. okay. Oh, he's out of a jump. He's out of a jump. Yeah, you're not going to make that. My. Almost reaching it. If Magnet Hands had been like Smash 4, maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe, right? I think he got caught with his hands in the cookie jar right there. No pun intended. Yeah. You know, he ran off stage immediately and went for the affair to try to come back and, uh, and go for what looked to be a ledge trump. But the minute he did that, man, he was met with the receiving end of those Young Link boots. And Absolutely. Yeah, man, the losing that stock. Ooh, the down air into. Tried to hit a nair, but not going to work out. Is he holding that bomb? Oh, okay. He had it, but dropped it immediately to get that down air. Oh, the parry! Uh, 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 uh. That's so unfortunate because he loves to throw that boomerang, but just a little bit too close to Lucina. Going to allow him to parry and get the strong punish. That's right. There are some characters that you just cannot afford to get parried up close and personal. And unfortunately, yeah. in his case, that's Lucina here at, at high percent. Okay, it's unfortunate, oh. too, because he's been spacing those boomerangs perfectly the entire time, mm -hmm. but not that one. Paid dearly. Uh huh. Oh, nice stuff. Okay, yeah, there it is. The setup's and off the ledge, too. This is where he really starts to thrive. Mm -hmm. And that was so smart, too, because he shot the arrow to force Mr. E to jump, and then the boomerang knocked him back into the aerial. Uh huh. Too good. Oh, get up attack. You're going to get punished here. That's right. Trapped off the right side. Oh, nice stuff. Immediately, Ooh. and then again, once more, getting back to stage to try. Oh, no, no ah! up smash. Oh, yeah, he went he for, went for oh, the read, my man. God. Okay, now it's Lucina's turn to try to recover. That bomb's coming down. All right. Okay, still trapped here. Cookie Slayer's time to shine. Okay, turn around for it. Tilt. No, actually goes for the boomerang. A lot of respect being shown. Oh! He showed his hand too early with the up smash. Mr. E sends my man Cookie Slayer to the ER. <laughs> and barely whiffing that up smash too. He had the read on the air dodge, but just not where exactly he was going to land. And unfortunately, you see how far Lucina has reached.